In this video, we're going to look at instant and class variables that are associated with classes and objects in Ruby. So, I've extended our little book class a little bit by adding two odd looking lines here. And they're odd because of these little at signs at the beginning of them. The first one is a class variable. And this is a variable. A variable is, is essentially a pointer to some information in memory. A class variable holds its value across all objects that are instantiated from this class. So if we create 10, instantiate 10 book objects from this class, and this value is set to this, and if one of the objects changes it, that value will change across all the objects, and I'll show you that. An instant variable declared here has a value for a specific object. So if you have two different object book objects declared and one has one this value in here and the other one decided to change this value they have two different values they aren't related whatsoever now how you declare them is with a class variable you use the two at signs in front of it that'll make it a class variable for an instance variable you put the at sign there if you don't put either one of those and you just have a name lowercase name then it's a local variable and it's local to whatever the scope is and that's covered in other videos. So let's go ahead and launch IRB. Again, remember I'm in the same directory, so I launch IRB and I do a load book.rb here. And now it's loaded and I can go ahead and declare a book or instantiate a book, I'm sorry. B is my variable that I just declared as or I've assigned a new book. But you'll notice if I take a look here, I'm not really seeing any any of this information here. We can try some some of these different methods since it it comes from book. Since you don't have a superclass on here, it just comes from the object class. So we get a couple of methods that come from it already, and those are shown here. But I'm not seeing anything that's showing me how I get access to these particular values here and what that means is that these are protected from you so we didn't see any way to access those so we have to get in here and create a way to access them now another video has actual methods a little bit more detailed so I'm just gonna do this quickly to get this information out here just do this one We'll do a second one to do, oops, that's the wrong name. All right. Now that we have the instance variable and a class variable actually entered into our book class, we can play around with it a little bit, and we'll do that in the next video.